Hello and welcome to part 64 of Let's Play Danganronpa. Do we want to save the data? I think we do. And I'm going to save it on a new slot. This is probably why my computer's got a no memory, because of all of the different save slots I've done. Have you got your facts straight? Let's, let's check this out. What skills do I have? I have Voice of Gold. Increases the damage dealt when you obliterate an assertion. Effective during man machine gun talk battle. Okie dokie. I like YD. Ammunition. Monokuma file. Let's just assume I know everything. And get on with this, huh? It's always more fun when I've got no fucking clue what's going on. Court is now in session! Let's start off with a simple explanation. You guys vote determines... Votes determine the trial's outcome. Think of the true villain, and only the villain gets punished. But think of the wrong villain! I thought we just had to say who the villain was, I didn't know we had to think of them. This is, um... Kind of awkward. Um, <laughs> but make the wrong accusation, and everyone else gets punished, leaving your deceiver to graduate free and clear, and with no fingers in his asshole, or her asshole, or her vagina. Whatever. Let's see. First on the agenda... How about we start off with the murder weapon? Looks like my first task is to identify the weapon that killed Fujisaki. I think we all know it pretty obviously, it's that dumbbell that was covered in blood right next to the body. You know, if anyone gets that wrong, I will, like, flip my shit. You know? Fujisaki's cause of death was the blow to her head. Monica McFell said she was struck with something blunt. But what was it? It was a metal pipe, dude. What? No! No! Let me go backwards. How do I go backwards? No, go back. Okay, right. The weapon was at the scene, but the thing with blood on it. Right. There we go. I missed it, apparently. Ah, Bell. Ah, Bell. Break. Perfect. 90 points. A. What I'd like to see. All of the weapon used to kill her, the dumbbell we found at the crime scene. You know, the one covered in blood that was right next to the body and matched the freaking, like, dent in her face. Oh, it was the blood on it. There wasn't anything else at the scene that could have done that to her. Also, the wound on the victim's head matches the shape of a dumbbell. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's no room for questions. You examined her wound? Gross! I'll take... I'll take the floor from here and change the subject to that of the murderer. Of course, I've already established who did it. What? You for real? The culprit responsible for Fu Chihiro Fujisaki's murder is the homicidal maniac genocide of show. Homicidal maniac genocide of show? Did he really kill her? The non-stop debate is about to begin. New elements have been added. We'd like to see a tutorial. Why not? Round this round, other students have been ch have begun chattering, interfering with your attempts to speak. Striking chatter with your ammunition will cause it to disappear, blocking you from making a refutation. Press the X button while targeting a chatter to use your silencer to neutralize the interference. However, if you miss the chatter and try to silence a legitimate assertion, you'll be penalized with a reduction in your time limit. Please aim carefully. As a side note, if your action difficulty is set to merciful, chatter will not appear. You will not need to make use of the silencer, so please relax and focus on the problem at hand. I wish you the best of luck, over and out. I don't know what my set to. I really should, like, check that out at some point. I don't know how to. Genocide to show case file.
Culprit is genocide to show. This is indisputable. No way that can't be true. And why can't it? I mean, that, that's, it's crazy. There's no evidence. No, I clicked it. No! <sighs> Alright. See, I aimed them the exact uh, Are you kidding me? Alright, break. 86 points. I'm not doing that well this time, but at least I'm not doing as badly as last time. Yet. Actually, there is some evidence. Huh? There's a file in the li library's archives. A top secret police file documenting all the genocide of Show's murders. Hold on. Why the hell would someone like that be in the archives? I don't feel like explaining. In any case, the file contains highly detailed reports of the genocide of Show murders. From this, we learn there are two distinguishing features to genocide of Show's crimes. One. He always leaves a message written in blood of a crime scene. Boobalicious fever. Bloodbath fever. What matters, though, is the other distinguishing feature, as this information hasn't been made public. It hasn't been made public? You tell them, Nagy. The other, unrevealed feature, has something to do with how genocide show positions the corpse. He kills in changing rooms, leaves a bloody message, crucifies his victims. Well, I'm pretty sure that killing was in a changing room. There was a bloody message, but crucifying his victims was the answer. A plus. Apparently, Genocide Show crucifies all of his victims. Aside from Genocide Show himself, only those in the upper echelon of the police knew about that. And yet, Fujisaki was, indeed, crucified. However, Togami also knew about that, can I just point out? Because he read the file, surely. Why does no one suspect Togami? He knew that. That begs the question, how did the culprit learn information only the police and genocide have shown no? There's only one possible explanation. That the culprit is genocide of show, or read that case file. You're shitting me. Does that mean that someone here is genocide of show? Tuko Fukua. Huh? Genocide of show's true identity is Tuko Fukua. No way! Eh? Hold on a second. Fukua can't stand the sight of blood. I've never heard of a serial killer who's afraid of blood. She both is and isn't genocide of show. There's your answer. You're telling riddles now, dude. Get to the point. Hey, Curry's right. It is kind of like a riddle, but I feel like I understand. What the Garmin means by she both is and isn't genocide of show. He's saying there's more than one of her, right? I forgot how to flick through all of them. Hold on. Shit. What? Dad? DP... Oh, DPD. No, it's... DPD. No, D... No, not did. What's did? What the fuck does did mean? Score, 92 points. A. Because genocide has show... Oh! Has dissociative identity disorder. Huh? That's what it said in the genocide of show case file. We hypothesize that the suspect has a severe case of dissociative identity disorder. But that doesn't mean tu Master Tuko Fuqua... Oh, but it does. The strange behaviour after seeing the body suggests exactly that. She has multiple personalities. What was it about Fukuo's behaviour that would in indicate she has did? The speech patterns. You mean the way her speech patterns changed? Think back to what happened when she passed out and then woke back up again. To find out what happened when she passed out and woke back up again, 
You'll have to join me for the next episode, folks, because... Why is my brother's iPod in my room? <laughs> like, my brother's iPod just, like, randomly in my room. Um, why? Nah, anyway, next episode on the top right, if you want to find out that. Previous on the top left, if you want to see what happened before this. So, the next time...